uh, there's 28 of us here, so I'm thinking most of us are back and we might as well begin our closing rituals. Um, so, um, you know, just like I and probably most of you who've civvy camped or civvy conned or civvy meet up we often take a minute uh, being that we are community driven to kind of give some folks, in this case you, uh, a chance to just share some of the learnings, maybe, you know, a nugget, as I might think of it, of something that you learned in the room. And so we'd like to kind of just give the next five, 10 minutes or so to folks who um, may be the presenter or not, and an attendee who was in that room to just share a little bit what that experience was like and what you learned from being there with the rest of us. And we're going to be saving some chats as well. So if you feel like you could also contribute it to the chat, then that's a way that we can, when we mine all of this information and get our videos set up, we can also be sharing this out in no doubt some blog thing that will show up on civicrm.org. So that's my, uh, that's my preamble to so just an invitation to attendees who either self-nominated or were nominated and or a presenter to share um, what happened in that room. Just give yourself you know, a minute or two just to share some highlights. Uh, that's what we're looking for. Uh, and after that, um, we'd like to just, um, any closing remarks that we have or you all have to share with the rest of us, there'll be a few minutes for that. And then we'd like, we're inviting the presenters to uh, decide for themselves should they choose to go back to their rooms and have a few more minutes to close out some conversations or not. Um, you know, we're all available in many different ways around the web. City focuses its communications by using Mattermost. If you're not familiar with Mattermost, please tell us in the chat. We'll get, find a way or a person to get you connected so that you can join the bigger global conversation. I'm looking at my notes. I don't think I'm missing anything. So just please jump in, preferably one person from each room for starters. And then we can do some repeats of some burning issues that need to be shared. Over to you, folks. Have we got someone from room one? Uh, OK, this is Alejandro. Um, well, no, I mean, we had five, six, seven attendees, a uh, couple of questions at the end. Um, so it, I think it went it went well. well I, mean, I was very happy of being part of this, and yeah, we will be available in the in the same room if someone wants to come back, uh, explore more stuff of peer to peer uh, fundraising. Uh, if someone is Spanish speaking and wants to have a quick chat in Spanish, we'll be happy to do that as well. Even if it's not fundraising or general CVCRM stuff, very happy to do that. And um, yeah. Thank you. Um, which moves us to room two. Um, I'll pick up from room two. Great. Um, so uh, we were looking at volunteering uh, and civvy volunteer. And uh, because of the response in the UK, but I'm sure around the world, we, we were all invited to um, consider volunteering for our local area and being involved in different pieces. And, um, and uh, Louisa, who is responsible for um, uh, an elderly care network uh, was asked by her uh, local council uh, to take on thousands of new volunteers and and to scale up really quickly. Um, Civi volunteer was then a good administrative tool to kind of um, to turn over that number of people through through uh, web forms and and kind of get people into their database that they're already confident in. Um, and quite quickly, they realized that it was streamlining some administrative tasks. Uh, and then Louisa was really clear in some, some of the things where um, the city volunteer really isn't, isn't yet fully integrated, doesn't yet feel fully integrated. 
and doesn't yet necessarily um, allow the transmission of data from one thing where you think it would just go from there to there and they were finding, finding they were having to handball some bits and pieces through which was difficult because you know it could and should be able to do something more but actually at the same time it was speeding up a process that would otherwise be impossible and um, uh, in it Louisa was talking about uh, mentioned how um, in the Leeds area that she's aware of she's the only person using um, CV volunteer and the only person the only group that she's aware of using a database in it really to even manage this kind of stuff and the idea of doing some of this administrative task of just trying to work out I've got this person here who needs to get uh, a, a letter posted and how are you going to get these volunteers I've got thousands of volunteers over here but who's the person close enough and how do I get people to sign up without me individually tying all the knots between this person who needs a letter and this person who who's got a car like just it, it's an astronomical jump and it it worked to an amount and it was really interesting to kind of I've not really worked as a volunteer, volunteer at all so it's really interesting to hear Louisa from the coalface saying this is her experience of having to set it up this is her experience of having to make it run and actually as a person fairly confident in Civi she was able to get a long long way um, to making it all fit together I don't know if there's anything else Louisa the way you think that I missed out some crucial bits so yeah, so that was it was room two. It was really good. It was really informative. We had a, a half a dozen, seven or eight people um, there, and um, a couple of questions at the end. It was it was nice. Room three, I think. Does anybody else want to talk? Okay, right. great. Okay, I can jump in. So Dana did a great presentation on WordPress and Civi CRM integrations, um, different uh, plugins and extensions that uh, have come up in. I'd say the last little while that really allow you to show off your Civi content on the WordPress front end. I think there are about 10 to 12 people in there. It fluctuated, um, but had some great questions and we'll be there afterwards to talk about the questions because um, I did the time zone conversion bad and thought we had more time so we didn't finish up quite right. So that's all. Thanks, Kevin. Um, thanks a lot. Is anyone from room four? That's uh, well. I'll talk. There was it was a small group. It was just me and a couple of others, and that's fine. Um, I did expect. So I was just doing the introduction to Civi CRM, and I knew that given the topic was going to be something very specific, the the COVID nineteen focus, that I was expecting that largely people um, would be. Um, in fact, I've got a couple of the, my two people who did attend have both put a comment in the chat actually as well. So it's a bit of feedback there from the people who were chat. Um, it was useful. We did a quick introduction to all of the different functions. But actually, then we had a conversation about so any good integration takes into account people skills. So your the team that you're working with and and how to present, you know, how to get them on board, uh, how to present the information that they're looking for easily and effectively. So we talked about options for that sort of thing. Um, I mentioned Karen, I said you're the web form and views extraordinaire and will often completely replace whole screens in Civi CRM just because actually Drupal does it better and makes it easier for people to use and navigate. So um, we kind of talked about that and we also talked a little bit about the uh, if and when we should in move from Drupal 7 to Drupal 8 and, and whether that's uh, where, where that's up to. So, so yeah, we kind of talked around some big broader topics as well. So it was, it was useful. Great, thank you. Um, Bjorn and room five. For anyone who was in room five. Um, I can feed back a little bit about the mutual aid extension because it's on GitHub. And I don't know if Bjorn mentioned this before, but it's been a big collaborative project. So quite a lot of us worked on it. Um, I, I, did, I wrote the documentation for it and it was actually um, that project which um, Bjorn and a big NGO in the north of Germany developed um, that kind of triggered the conversation that led to this event. Um, so I'm, I, know, I know Bjorn's been very busy this week so that's possibly why he's not here but yeah it's been 
um, yeah, it's 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 a it's a it's a really powerful little tool because it matches people with needs and people with um, uh, it matches any two criteria uh, which you might have got from this presentation already. But there's lots of other use cases outside of mutual aid where that might be useful within city CRM. Just matching volunteers and tasks um, or um, different. Things. So yeah, I, I, I'm I'm really excited to see the next iterations of this extension and see, and see how it grows. Um, um, yeah, or matching, matching organizations um, based on, you know, this organization is installing solar panels, this organization is, is looking for renewable energy, you know, whatever it is, there's, there's, there's interesting things that happens once you start matching things with a geographic match built in. Um, room six, I'm sorry, I can't remember who was in room six. Uh, um, Eric, um, Amy, and Jacob. Uh, yeah, we so we talked a lot about um, how we how we were using the um, city CRM to um, inform our purchasing for for food for bulk buying operation and grocery distribution. Um, we also talked about how we uh, <clears throat> we're using cases um, to sort of. Facil uh, facilitate our, our volunteers um, and how um, being able to use these tools is like sort of tra transformed our uh, volunteer retention um, and really in increased the amount of people that we're keeping around. We'll see. Just want to throw in one thing, which is that I'm really <clears throat> uh, I'm excited to see how we can integrate the. Uh, the extension from Bjorn uh, into what we're doing. Um, and there, I had mentioned this on a GitHub uh, issue that we're going to try to figure out how to have that be part of what feeds into our system. And then at a certain point, those requests, if they can't be matched, would become cases in our system. Um, and I'm really excited to, a lot of what everyone's been saying here uh, can feed into the the project we've been building, and and it's been exciting hearing. Yeah, I remember seeing that comment on that issue from GitHub, and yeah, I know there's an organ an organization calling themselves the National Food Service in the UK that's very kind of interested to see potential parts of that organization interested to see how that how that goes forward. Um, at room seven, that would be um, Karen. Hi. Um, oh, yeah, we had we had two visitors in addition to a couple people I, I was already familiar with. Um, I don't know if Andy's still here, um, but we went through some web forms in details and we drafted some forms on the spot on a demo site and styled them and showed them some use cases where um, web form, for instance, can be used to record up to 37 activities at one time just by checking boxes. So um, it's a good use case for when you want to do things like he was explaining to us, he was doing, he was checking people in and you might want to record another service at the same time rather than doing two entries. You can do lots of, um, of multiple tasking on a web form. Uh, at the same time. So again, he'd been using it quite often, but again, I found, you know, there's always a few things people don't know because it's either not well documented by us or there's no good examples on it. So yeah, my, my, uh, yeah, we're making a big dent into documenting web forms to be sure I'm a lot better because I think um, it's not a replacement. I really see it as a you know, you want to record five activities in CV CRM, go and hit the buttons and I'll time you and it'll be five buttons. You want to do that on an Alex form, it will take you five seconds, right? And that's not, that's just replacing the user interface. We're still using CVCRM. It is our robust data bucket, but it's so easy to make really useful front end screens that prevent people from having to navigate through the, the somewhat clunky UI in Civi. And let's just face it, that's what it is. And, you know, but it's okay. We don't always have to use it. Um, so yeah, that's my, um, that's my session. So yeah, I was glad I could show Andy a few little things that he may not have recognized yet that he could do.
And I forgot the other two ladies that were in there. I forgot their names, but sorry. <laughs> Okay, just a thank you. Thank you, everybody. Um, so just quickly, um, Eric, do you feel the need to be back in your room after we close out here? Was there a call for that? Um, if people want to chat with me more, uh, yeah. I gave out my email address and I am in the city Mattermost. Uh, I've got, uh, I'm swamped with things to do and unfortunately I need to move on to other things today. Understood. Um, Karen, what about you? What are your plans? Just want everybody to hear it. It depends. If, if someone wants to chat specifically about Webform, CVCRM or views or other integrations, I'm happy to stay on and tell you a bit more. Um, but do message me right now. Otherwise, I'll uh, help the kids get some lunch here. That's, that's right. what we're doing. <laughs> yep, we're all in different time zones. That's right. Um, who else? Bjorn is still a mystery. Is anybody in this room here coming back from Bjorn's room? Or Bjorn, are you here? As people have suggested, he may just still be rapping. Um, OK. So um, I just put a quick note um, in the chat. I certainly don't want to exhaust you. And I know we're kind of coming to the end of a fabulous encounter milestone for us and our community, uh, which is always nice to be part of. Um, but we also, and we'll, we'll find a way to kind of reach back out to you with another version of a thank you and opportunity for feedback. But just as a first round, was there anything that you would have wished the technology could have done better or the human beings organizing it could have done differently that you're willing to share in public? Or do you just want us, you just want us, to just want to give us all two thumbs up for everything? Really? No. No. Oh. Okay, but the feedback would help too. Hi, Noah. <laughs> um, Okay. Ever so anyway. done one of these before as a presenter, and this went really well. Well, thank you, Eric. Thank you. I know we have some gurus in the house, but uh, I'll let them chime in now or later if they want. Um, technology and community, virtual community gurus is what I meant. Okay. Um, so just to be clear, what I'm seeing uh, is that um, Alejandro and Carolina have opted to go back and hang out in their rooms for a little longer uh, based on demand. Um, and um, Dana and Kevin also. And that's what I have. And I am imagining the rest of the presenters kind of are uh, inviting you all to be in touch with them should you need for that to happen. Uh, through the different channels. If you need to reach out to Nicole and I to connect you all, we're certainly happy to play that role. Um, anything else, any other random closing thoughts, comments from all of you? Yeah, I just want to say uh, thank you, Nicole and Neil and, <clears throat> and other folks I know that really you know, had this idea, put it together, did a lot of work, figuring things out, getting it arranged. Um, uh, it's it's been great. I, I learned a lot, and um, I, I I know we'll continue doing something like this down the road because it's been um, really fun. Um, so thank you again, and thank you everybody here for you know all the work you've done. I think mostly volunteer labor. It sounds like uh, to help people um, in our current situation. So yeah. thank you. Thank you, Joe. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Joe. And I, I just want to second that to the people who've given up time this evening in preparation to share their knowledge and experience. Thank you so much. Um, there's some, some great knowledge and clearly a lot of volunteering that has gone into making the things that some of you are sharing too. So um, yeah, there's some really inspiring stuff. Um, one parting thought. Um, one thing that just always strikes me every time I'm at a CiviCRM event, um, and this being my first virtual one, this community is special and it's one of the only 
software communities where you can be pretty much certain that everybody in the room is interested in uh, creating a better world and not just making fancy things. And I really appreciate you all for that. Thank you, Eric. Which, which actually makes me kind of reflect on our code of conduct and how my, my interpretation is that we all have that built into us already, which kind of underlines, I think, Eric's message as well. So thank you. Thank you for showing up in that way. It's a great point to close on. Yeah, thank you, Eric. Um, thank you, Neil. Um, everybody back. Take care, Dana. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Everybody. Room three, if you're coming back to room yeah. three. Okay. Very well. We will. We'll... Also, it's also great to see a lot of you folks like actually live in one place <laughs> for at one time, uh, not having to travel like across the world to do that. So thanks. Right. Yeah. If you if you have a donation to make, we kind of called out that in some of our messaging. So feel free to do that if that feels good. And Nicole and I will be here um, for a few more minutes anyway. <laughs>